Now, the global number of COVID-19 cases has exceeded 14 million, while the death toll has crossed 600,000. This comes as the U.S. posted another record cases with over 77,000 people testing positive in the past day. The total number of infections in the country has topped 3.6 million with over 139,000 deaths. In Brazil, 1,163 people have died overnight, increasing the toll to nearly 77,000. More details in this report. The World Health Organization has reported a record single-day increase in global coronavirus cases. The biggest increase are from U.S., Brazil, India and South Africa. Despite a spike in cases, U.S. President Donald Trump has ruled out a national mandate requiring people to wear face masks. But California's governor has issued guidance that schools can start in-person instruction if they are off the state's monitoring list for 14 days. He said all schools will require masking, social distancing, and regular testing. The one thing we have the power to do to get our kids back into school is look at this list again. Wear a mask, physically distance, wash your hands, minimize the mixing. The more we do on this list and we do it at scale, the quicker all those counties are gonna come off that monitoring list, we're going to mitigate the spread of this virus and those kids are back in school. Australia has canceled the next two week sitting of the parliament, saying there is a significant risk of virus spread. Azerbaijan has extended lockdown restrictions, including the closure of its borders until August 31st, after a further rise in the number of infections. Authorities in Spain have urged the residents to stay home and not gather in groups of more than 10 as they try to curb a rise in coronavirus cases. The residents of all these municipalities should stay home if going out is not essential. This is the request we make. Stopping the virus from running out of control depends on all of us. We recommend that you follow this measure and that you do not go to your second homes this weekend. Doctors at India's largest hospital treating coronavirus patients say they are prepared for a second wave of the virus. China has reported 22 new COVID-19 cases on the mainland, of which 16 are domestically transmitted in the far western region of Xinjiang. Authorities in Xinjiang have reduced subways, buses and taxis and closed off some residential communities. South Korea's new virus cases have fallen back to 38. But authorities are keeping their guards up as cluster infections continue to put a strain on their efforts to contain the virus.